All right, here we go with the creation of the linkage arm, which is part four of the train project. So on Inventor, open up a part file, and we're going to go ahead and start a sketch. And let's use that front face. And we're going to start with a rectangle. It's going to be long and skinny, something like that. And then let's go to arc. And with this arc, basically an arc is anything that's less than a circle. So if it's not 360 degrees, it's an arc. So we'll click once on the top corner, and click on the bottom corner, and then pull it out. You don't want to lock it in tangent. Right there, you can see the tangent signs. You don't want that, so you just do something like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Top corner, bottom corner, and pull it out something like that. <clears throat> Now we're going to use what's called the trim feature. And trim is right here near the top. Trim allows us to remove lines that we don't want. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to come down and say this left edge, we don't want it. Yeah. And this right edge, we don't want it either. Okay. Now we're going to go to dimension. And let's tell, uh, let's, let's do a total length here of center point to center point. And let's make that three and a half inches. click and say 3.5 and that should cause everything to get bigger and we're gonna go to the width of this thing we're gonna say from the top to the bottom should be a quarter of an inch so 0.25 I'm say okay now we're gonna give these uh, these arcs a, uh, a radius of 3 sixteenths of an inch so you can type in the fraction of 3 sixteenths We'll say OK. And it looks like that. Now it displays as 0.188. It's not really 0.188. It's really 0.1875, but, it, but it's rounding that last number because it's only giving numbers to a thousandth of an inch. So now click on this other side. And you can go ahead and type in 0.1875 because that is the actual dimension of that arc. So once you've got 0.1875, go ahead and hit OK. Um, so, so now it looks something like this. We want to go to horizontal constraint, and we want to tell that point to be horizontal to the point over here. You might see a slight adjustment, you might not, but now we know that they are locked horizontal to one another. And let's go to a vertical constraint, and let's make sure that this point is perfectly vertical to this point. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and tell the other side, that point should be perfectly vertical to that point. And they should all be locked into place now. Yeah. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make this thing three-dimensional uh, at this point. Actually, you know what, I'm going to check one more dimension. I don't think we need it, but let's just do it for fun. Let's tell this center point, we want to make sure it's centered. So from there, from the center point to that top edge needs to be 0.125, and it looks like it already is. So we'll go ahead and uh, select that dimension. And it's saying it already must be. It's saying we would over constrain the sketch because it already has to be that. So I'll say, OK, and I'll cancel that. So it already was that dimension. So I'm going to go to 3D model and extrude. And let's select this profile. So the profile is the first thing we select. And it selected it. And I want to make it uh, an eighth of an inch thick which is 0.125 and we'll say OK and now there's only one more thing we have to do we're going to get another sketch and put a sketch on this face and we're going to use the point and put a point right sure on this center point there and let's put a point right there and we'll go to 3D model and we're going to use the hole feature so we'll click hole and it'll automatically select those points to cut out. You can see it's doing that. We don't want the diameter to be a quarter of an inch because that's really big. We want it to be an eighth of an inch, which is 0.125. And it's set as through all, and that's perfect. We don't need it to be a distance. We just want to, we can say through all, and that way it'll cut everything um, uh, I'm that's in its way. Uh, so I'm going to say OK. And you now have the linkage arm. So you can go pick.
any color you want for the linkage uh, arm and then just save it and move on to the next step of the train project.